right guys, so before we jump into this video, which is gonna be a good one, make sure you stay all the way to the end. I'm looking at the truck right now and it looks completely different. I wanna thank Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. I've been using them for over a year and a half now. It's been a great wallet for me. It's definitely condensed it in, in my pocket. Holds up to 12 cards, got 30,000 five-star reviews. Use my code PARADOX for 10% off your order. And if you don't like your wallet, they have 30 different options. They have carbon fiber, which this one is. But if you don't end up liking it, they will give your money back up to 45 days after your order. So if you're interested in changing up your wallet style, having a lifetime warranty, which they do carry on these things, so you could use the same wallet for life. They carry a lifetime warranty, guys. The wallet is also RFID blocking, so people can't get into here and take your card numbers. I know that's a new thing. People scamming people nowadays. I've loved this wallet. I've been using it for over a year and a half. It's held up well. Also has a money clip on it so you can carry cash. Fits in the front of my pocket, great. Back of the pocket, great. Doesn't create that bulge that the old thick wallets like I used to have. I used to have a wallet that's like that thick and now it's the size of this, which is super small and convenient. So thank you again for Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. Couldn't recommend this company more. They got some great stuff on their website as well. I use their bag, their phone charger, a couple of their different products. Make sure you check out their website to see what all they offer. They offer a lot of high quality products on there. Love working with Ridge Wallet. So use the code below for 10% off. Let's jump right into the video, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Smash a like if you do. It's gonna be a good one. Let's get into it. Today we're fixing Mater's biggest body issue, and that is the huge rust holes through the back of the cab. We got my buddy Mike here. You guys know him from the video a few videos back. He was helping us get Mater running, which we did get Mater running. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. But if you didn't know, Mike is actually my paint and body guy. I went to him whenever I was getting my second gen painted, and we met, and we've been friends ever since. He's been doing a lot of help. Or he's been doing a lot of work for me over the years, and he does great, great stuff. So we got Mike here working on the paint and body. I'm gonna be over here prepping our hot rod sim. We're gonna be putting this on the frame. It's got a catalyst and a reducer. It's a four to one ratio. It's a satin black. So we're gonna be trying this stuff out on the frame. There'll be a link in the description below for this product. You guys know we went with our Eastwood Platinum Rust Encapsulator. Shout out to Eastwood. That product will also be down in the description below. That's gonna stop this rust and encapsulate it and make sure it doesn't come through. We're also gonna be doing it on the rest of the truck as well. Tonight we're mainly focused on the frame and getting these holes patched in the bottom of the cab. We also got our primer here that we're gonna be using on the body. We got some more lacquer thinner, just a bunch of goodies here, some sandpaper, some dura blocks, uh, some measuring cups for our ratios, some reducer or some activator for our primer. It's a 2K primer, it's gonna do very good. Mike here said that that product should work pretty good. We're gonna, yeah, high build urethane. So we're gonna hit it three times, prime it three times, block it, sand it, and come back three more coats, sand it, see where our low spots are. We may even have to hit it some more then block and sand it, and then get ready for our base coat, which we haven't decided what color we're gonna go with yet, so comment down below if you guys want a particular color on Mater. There's a couple different blues and a couple different greens we're leaning towards, and also a maroon color. But let me know what you guys think. We're gonna get straight to work. Got Mike here, doing a great job. Just getting it ready and getting it prepped because you can definitely see where either it was dripping down from the window or the seams right here on these old trucks sometimes get water between them because maybe they need like a seal to go around this cab. Mike was saying sometimes that can happen. We're making some major gravy right now, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So we're fixing up old mater here. We got huge rust holes in the bottom of the cab, guys. Yeah, we're gonna make them go away though. Oh yeah. Make them go away, that's for sure. And then once we get this this stuff patched and repaired, then we'll be ready to just sand it down with 80 grit. We're gonna 80 grit it, hit it with our primer. We'll get it cleaned up, hit it with primer, and go from there, block it. Trying to trying to do it all in the garage. Definitely wanted to reach out to my boy Mike though here to help me patch up these holes because I don't want to mess this up. We're also gonna be using this stuff right here. It's a rust remover. We're gonna be spraying this on and then wiping it off. It'll stick to the rust, but won't stick to the paint. You can see where we've used a little bit of it already, but we're gonna spray that on here to make sure no rust eats through our primer and our base and then bubbles up over our clear. So we're trying to... Yeah, we're trying to keep that rust down and make sure it doesn't come through our paint, just like we did our rust encapsulator on our frame to make sure it doesn't come through our paint. So we're trying to do it right. 
and learn at the same time. So if you got any, if you got any advice or how we can do this better, always feel free to comment down below, guys. Constructive criticism always welcome on the channel. We got Jonathan here. Show us what you got going on, Jonathan. Uh, well, it didn't turn out how I liked it. I started to uh, paint the valve cover that we were working on today. And I was taking a razor blade to, you know, get all the raised letters silver. Oh, what happened? It didn't turn out how I liked it. It, it was, looked good a second ago. I just looked at it. What happened? It, it wasn't turning out good. So I, I just sprayed it again. Probably do another coat. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit, so I brought it in here. Um, but I'll probably do another coat of black and then go ahead and hit with the clear. And I'll probably go ahead and take a sander and do it like that instead of with a razor blade. This wasn't turning out how I liked it. And, all right. uh, well, if you guys want to check that video out, it's going to be on his channel. Link in the description below. Check out Dippin' Diesel. He's always helping us out in the garage. He's going to be helping us out a lot on getting made or prepped for paint. Just like a cotton bill, right? Yes, sir. Just uh, fill it in. You're, you're just going to, it's going to bind both metals together. And like I say, it's sandable and paintable. Okay. And uh, you just want to build it up a little bit. So we'll be able to wipe it smooth and flush, really, with a Bondo spreader or a putty knife, whatever you want to use. Is that enough product? Yeah, that's plenty, brother. Yeah. Like I say, we're just going to try to smoothen that gap right there. Um, it may be better if you use the Bondo spreader or your finger. Like I say, either way, you just want a nice little smooth seam. and okay. It's just less that you have to sand off later on. It takes 24 hours for it to cure, you know, I mean, you, you could probably sand it in eight, but I, I still recommend just to wait 24 before you right. sand it and try to paint it or anything. Yeah, we definitely don't want this thing leaking and causing rust issues down the road. We definitely don't want that. No, that right there would be a suspensive way of saving it, but um, <laughs> while we're using it, let's just might as well put it to good use, right? Hell yeah. I appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah. Let's go to your other side, and we're in the game. Thank you. We'll do this other side real quick, guys, and we'll get back with you here in a second. Alrighty, guys, so our buddy Mike just left. Big shout out to him. He did a great job of getting this done. We also went ahead and got a rush treatment that I just set down a second ago. Rush treatment spray, we went ahead and sprayed the door panels. I'm not done with the bottom though, but we got all the seams done. The whole dash is done in that rush treatment stuff. So that we, when we come back You can tomorrow, already see it working. A little oh yeah, bit. it's turning purple. It's kind of bubbling up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna knock that down, sand it smooth, prime it. It's gonna make sure it's right here. So this stuff right here works really good, guys. This rush treatment stuff, we're gonna use this for like the interior and the small stuff. But our major stuff, we're going to be using a chemical Phospho BLP product, mobile paints. We're going to be using this in our sprayer. We're just going to come around and hit it whenever we uh, get ready to do our primer. We also got to knock this dent out. We did also knock a dent out in that corner. There was a big dent in that corner. We heated it up with our torch, went from the inside and kind of banged it out. We're going to do the same thing with this one. We just haven't done it yet. Almost banged it out this time. Yeah, get mad. Hulk smash. Almost, almost ready. But yeah, we're gonna come through. You guys can kind of see all this rust or whatnot building up on the cab. That phospho is gonna take care of that and make sure it can't come through. Before we primer it, we're gonna wipe it down though and clean it really good. So we're gonna catch up with you guys actually tomorrow. So tonight, you've seen a little bit of a body work. You've seen our seam sealer we put on the seam. The inside is built up really good. Tomorrow, you guys are gonna see us use our product right here, our Hot Rod Satin. We're gonna be coating our frame in the morning, so we're gonna check up with you guys then. Tonight, we're gonna to grill out. We got our buddy Dustin here. Uh, we're gonna grill out, maybe drink a couple drinks, and have a good time tonight and relax a little bit. Been working real hard. So tomorrow, we'll catch up with you when we coat this frame. See you guys then. Alrighty guys, this is the next day. We're getting our Hot Rod stuff mixed up right now. Uh, you're kinda of halfway, kinda of catching you guys halfway up through it, but 12 ounces, we went up to 12 ounces with our main paint. We went up to 15 ounces with our catalyst. Now we just gotta put our reducer in there. And we're gonna go up to 18 ounces with that. That hopefully should give us enough to fill up that paint gun and do the entire frame. We may have to come back after we mix this up and do this again. You always wanna mix what you need first. You don't wanna overmix because you don't mix. want the catalyst to you know, react with the paint before you're ready to use it. So, so we're gonna go up to 
18 ounces now. Those bubbles need to get out of my way. I think we're a little low. That sun glaring off right that there. cup was messing with the autofocus. That should be good right there. So we're going to mix this up with our paint stick. We're pretty much professional painters. I mean, yeah. Hey, not me. I mean, you see my spray paint jobs. Yeah. <laughs> we should have used my freaking high volume, low pressure paint gun to do your valve cover. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Seriously, we should have bought, bought different paint though. Yeah, paint like in a can like this. Yeah. Instead of a an aerosol can, it may even have been cheaper to do it that way. Dude, this little um, paint gun right there, I'll put a link down below for that little paint gun. Also, there's a link below to this product too. Hey, I've heard great things about this product, and that little paint gun, I'm telling you guys, for a $40 paint gun, the pattern, the spray pattern it lays down, and the evenness it does, I, it amazed me. For real. It really yeah. did. The guy at the paint shop swore by this stuff, so... Oh, yeah. Stuff is supposed to be really good. It comes in a little box like this with everything you need. And it's fairly cheap. It's like less than a hundred bucks. Yeah. It's pretty And even with the court, you can get a lot done with the court. Oh, yeah. We had you had that gallon of uh Eastwood stuff. You I barely even barely, any barely used to do any for that whole frame, so So we're gonna mix this up guys. Next clip you're gonna see is probably the time lapse of us what going ahead and coating this frame. We masked off everything like last time, our Zerk fittings our lug nuts, things like that. We got a time lapse set up, so hope you enjoyed it, guys. Let's see what this stuff can do and see how it turns out. So we just got done with Mater's frame and it looks really, really good. It's a little more gloss than I thought. It's been about an hour since it's set, so it may settle a little bit, but it's a little more glossy than I thought it was gonna look. But I, hey, I love the look of this thing. I couldn't be happier with it. And by the way, guys, we got our job rated. Make Mater great again shirts. People keep asking me what is up with the job rated. Well, this truck is a job rated truck, if you guys didn't know. Back in the day, Dodge would make trucks made to order for a particular job. So you could call them and say, hey, I'm gonna be needing to do this with my truck and the truck will literally be made to order for however you need it to do your job either on a farm or however you need your truck to do whether it's tow a trailer that's why these trucks were called job rated trucks because you could build them from the factory so that's why it says job rated on the front of the truck here's the back of the shirt they come in black or white if you guys are interested in these shirts it's gonna be a link down below also you can see right below the video if you're subscribed to the channel or if you're on your cell phone or laptop you can see the shirts right below before the comments. So without further ado guys, let's show you the frame. Bam, look how good this thing looks. I'll show a picture on the screen real quick of what it looked like before we got started. By the way guys, we ended up going ahead and primering this because we waited 
right at 48 hours and i talked to eastwood about it you guys know we wanted to wait 48 hours to set to let that encapsulator really get good we were we knew we were going to be on a thin timeline and really be stretching it out because that encapsulator once it sets it doesn't want to let anything on it and that's the issue we were having with our seam hot rod black we were having an issue i'll show you guys right here we started spraying this and we were having an issue with it wanting to bond to the rust encapsulator. And I called Eastwood, told him about it. So he told me that it makes sense. We waited right at 48 hours that you typically want to spray it a little bit before 48 hours, probably around 24 hours before that encapsulator really sets. So we messed up that a little bit, but it was no big deal. We just hit it with a red scotch bright pad, uh, tore it up a little bit, primered it, roughed that primer up a little bit. We primered it twice, roughed that primer up a little bit. And then we went ahead and laid our hot rod black down and it looks really good i said hey i need something that's going to last i need something that's going to be able to be worked and he said this is what i recommend for you so link down below to an amazon link if you guys want to check that out and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below stay tuned for the next video because the next thing we got going on we've already let this sit for 24 hours you guys can check out the inside show them this real quick we let that rust stuff really do its job that phosphate stuff we let it sit overnight and it's been just eating away at this truck. We're gonna sand it down really good with 80 grit and then we're gonna actually hit it with this stuff again. We got another tube of it. And when we do that, we're gonna be ready to start wipe it down, get it clean and then start our primer. So comment down below, let me know what you guys think about the frame. I think it turned out great. We got plenty more stuff to come on Mater. So if, if you're new, make sure you guys are subscribed. And if you enjoy the video, smash that like button. Again, shout out to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. Great company to work with. And if you want to check out a Make Mater Great Again shirt, link below for that as well. Thank you to Dip and Diesel for helping me record this video. His channel is always linked down below as well. So hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.